Well, life on campus is going to look a whole lot different this fall for students at NC State. CBS 17 digital reporter Judith McDonough gives us a glimpse at the changes. The university is taking steps to reduce contact with people as much as possible. While you would usually come to the information desk and maybe get some kind of paper resource, you're now being encouraged to scan this QR code on your cell phone and receive those resources digitally. This is just one of the changes you'll see here this fall. If they were going to come back to campus and just stay in their residence hall room the entire time, it would be just as easy for them to stay at home. The campus life experience is what NCSU is trying to keep hold of as much as they can. They'll be safe, assuming that we all work together um, to keep each other safe. To help, you will see less seating at the student union, and students are encouraged to order lunch ahead of time online. I can't make them not be fearful. So I'm doing what I can and my teammates are doing what we can. In the classroom, teachers are protected with plexiglass barriers. Smaller class sizes and staggered seating will keep students at least six feet apart. Stickers will indicate where they can sit. A mobile plexiglass partition is available to keep students safe during presentations. We don't take that lightly. It's a responsibility we all bear. And I think we've done a, a significant and thorough job. At the dining hall, students will need to choose a line as soon as they arrive for lunch. Every other table now off limits. It's definitely going to be weird. It's going to be different. The most jarring difference is here in the gym. Now, state law doesn't allow the university to open back up its gyms, but they're already preparing for the day when they can open up. Head over to CBS17.com for videos and pictures of what the gyms will look like. In Raleigh, digital reporter Judith Bergana, CBS17. 17 News.